how neurofeedback can help you if you suffer from Parkinson's disease. I'm Dr. Trish Lee, let me tell you how. Okay, there's many studies that show that neurofeedback brain training can change the way that your brain is producing electrical energy in terms of speed. So there's many studies that show that Parkinson's disease is an irregular use of speed in the beta band. And I really never talk about it as beta band. I talk about beta as fast brain speeds. But the reason I'm using the term beta band here is because many of the studies talk about beta band when it comes to Parkinson's disease. So you will see that in the literature. If you go to my website at drtrishley.com and you venture to the blog post, which the tab's at the bottom of the homepage, and you put in Parkinson's, you'll see that I've written a blog post describing some of this to you. But what I want you to know is that it's proven that brains that struggle with Parkinson's disease make too much beta fast brain speed. And that production of beta is what's at the root of motor control difficulties. So we've seen this. Then there's studies that show when beta is reduced using neurofeedback brain training, that that can help the symptoms of motor disorder go away for people with Parkinson's disease. Anytime it comes to a neurodegenerative disease, the earlier that you can catch that disease and start using neurofeedback to help the brain to be able to degenerate slower, you can ward off some of those symptoms for a longer time frame. And the reason that's important is because truly you can hold on to quality of life for longer, being able to move, being able to talk, not having the stress and anxiety of, especially when it comes to bradykinesia, where you may feel stress and anxiety about trying to move, never knowing when you'll be successful or when you may have hiccups. So neurofeedback can be a game changer when it's added to your comprehensive care. Now, just so you know, some of those dopaminergic, dopaminergic medications, L-dopa, easier to say, which is probably why most of you do also, those medications basically reduce beta band for the amount of time that they're in your system. Unfortunately, they're shown to have side effects. So this is a way that you can get that same effect as you might from the L-DOPA medication, but in this case, you're not gonna have the side effects and neurofeedback is completely all natural. It doesn't put one thing into your brain. It teaches your brain to use speed better. And online, you can also see the link on my blog post, but if you go to Parkinson's News Today, you'll see a post there saying that that controlling the beta band and being able to control brain waves or these brain speeds is the future of helping people with Parkinson's. And there's studies that show, and it's listed there in that, in that article on Parkinson's News Today, it's shown that people with Parkinson's can control that beta band. And it's especially easier for people to reduce the beta band. So this could be a key component to being able to have better quality of life when it comes to Parkinson's disease. Okay, I hope this helps you out and visit it at my website. And remember, if you ever have any questions, email me at trish at drtrishlee.com. I'm always happy to help. And remember, control your brain or it'll control you.